Uh, so, okay, hi guys, my name is Marcin uh, Pchuka. I'm uh, working for Trimble nowadays, and currently I'm also responsible for <clears throat> IFC 4.3 implementation in our software in Quadri, together, of course, with Jan Eric. Uh, so, today I will try to go through a very interesting topic, in my opinion. So, AI and IFC, and what we can achieve using this two together. <clears throat> so I will present or I would try to present uh, two use cases. So imagine that you are a designer and you already exported your file uh, from authoring software, but you miss some uh, property sets. So this will be the first use case. And the second use case that it will be that you have already IFC, including everything, all classes, attributes, and P sets, and you want to list them uh, down in the uh, spreadsheet. Uh, so to do that, you have to perform uh, certain steps, but also you have to have a certain knowledge. So uh, basically, what you need to know it's um, IFC, IFC schema, more or less, you have to understand that there is uh, some uh, um, uh, languages, code languages like Python. You have to also understand what is the library. So in this case, we will use IFC OpenShell. You have to also be familiar with the tools that uh, are provided by OpenAI, like ChatGPT or any other uh, app using this engine. And you also have to find some um, uh, notebook or some uh, software for uh, do coding. So I will use uh, Google Colab. Uh, let me just jump to this view. Uh, so what the workflow looks for the first um, use case. So you have to create some prompts. Uh, so I will use for that uh, our own app called Trimble Assistant, which is based on um, OpenAI engine. Then I will generate some code using Python and IFC OpenShell. Uh, then I will use Google Colab to actually execute this code. Uh, beforehand, I have to also upload my IFC file to this um, environment. And if I do something wrong, I also get a notification. So I will use this notification and feed my uh, chat GPT engine once again to get a better code. So we have to repeat it if something fails. But uh, if everything is correct, at the end, I should get the modified uh, IFC file. So the second workflow is the same, but in my, I will get at the end um, XLS um, spreadsheet. So uh, we have to also maybe um, describe some of these components. So as maybe you are not, maybe you are not familiar, but, but there is a something called IFC Open Shell. And this is a free Python, but not only Python library. So it means that on top of the Python, you can also attach different certain amount of the uh, uh, code uh, that you could be utilized and do something uh, better or more than just the Python. So uh, IFC OpenShell is uh, meant to work with um, IFC and uh, you also can find a lot of documentation about uh, this uh, on the website they have. And this is open source, and you can also contribute. And I know that Arthur and Leon also are contributors to that. So they, this is a very good source for the uh, for having for finding new inf information, especially about this library. So I recommend to jump there and uh, Google it. Uh, so I will also use uh, Google Colab. And Google Collab, it's the uh, free app from Google where you can also write a code and you can upload some files and also download the files if you are working with that. So also just jump to Google Collab where you will start the, uh, the new notepad and when you will start coding. 
what you need to do at the end, uh, at, sorry, at the beginning, you have to uh, install the IFC Open Shell because each time you run the uh, Google Collab, so this is um, uh, it's uh, quite uh, very nice way of working with code because you don't have to install um, libraries on your PC. So you have you can everything do on cloud, but this session is also could be terminated. So every time you uh, close your uh, web website and start again, so you have to install this IFC Open Shell. But everything happens in uh, in the cloud. So uh, be, remember just to install this uh, beforehand. Um, Trimble Assistant. So I'm. Uh, this is our internal app where we uh, where we can uh, prompt when we can do prompts and get some uh, uh, feedback or some uh, different things. What we ask for uh, from uh, from ChatGPT or engine ChatGPT engine. So for you, some uh, uh, <coughs> some rules uh, to follow that. You have to be always precise and clear and provide the contents and, of course, not making too too complex uh, prompts. So maybe better is just to go step by step and instead of having uh, the, the very long description of what you want to do, better just to um, um, chop it and maybe make the smaller uh, steps um, uh, each time. Uh, so I just asked in this case uh, using IFC Open Shell and Python create a code that add p sets and properties to IFC cures entities. So I get a code, and then this code I can copy and of course um, paste to my uh, my Google Colab notebook. And if everything is correct, so it's also relay it's um, it's based on my file I uploaded beforehand. So uh, if everything is correct, I get the result at the end. But if not, then I get the notification at the end. That's why I like this solution very well, because then I can just copy this uh, notification info and just paste again without saying anything. And Trimble Assistant or ChatGPT will know that something is happening with my code and will generate me a new code and even understands what is uh, what is um, incorrect. So at the end, I get the new code, which I can again copy and paste to my notebook. And the, the result is that I get the Rode IFC demo vol, vol 2, which I'll also I describe what, uh, what, uh, how IFC um, should be named. And this is the, the snapshot, what you can do. So this was my initial file uh, without any properties and at the end i get the property sets with the properties and values and this was a very basic but also you can do much more uh, this is a case which i'm not going to describe but just for you to know what i have done so i asked chat gpt to create my um, to create an app uh, that can, uh, uh, based on my input IFC, can I can download the IFC file that uh, sorry, I Excel spreadsheet that in columns list all the objects, property sets, properties, values, value types. I can also in a different sheet add properties based on this grid and all some uh, some uh, some attributes I provide. Or I can also, in the same way, I can remove properties. And everything I just um, put to the desktop app, and everything was made by ChatGPT. So first of all, I had to create the good code that works in and tested it extensively in Google Colab. When I was sure that everything works, then I asked, please pack my code to X, X a file and create a desktop application for me. And then, of course, you can also um, ask what I have to, uh, what steps I have to perform to be able to run this on my desktop. So you, you can easily also check yourself. And of course, there will be an iterative job and you have to for sure 
test it many times before you uh, uh, succeed. But let's jump to the uh, to the demo. Uh, so I have, uh, let's say, a Google Colab. I need to go to the Google Colab. I just create a new notebook. Uh, so I said before I uh, start coding, I have to install my uh, uh, library. So you have to always type pip install ifc open o open shell. This is uh, what you have to do uh, before you start coding. Then you will get uh, information or you will get the uh, info what it's uh, happening right now. So uh, I will. There will be a yes instant uh, upload and uh, install. So now it seems that everything is correct. Then I have to click here and I need to just upload some files I want to work with. So I just have this road XIFC. I can open it. Then of course has to also take it takes some time to upload it. But then I can go to my chat GPT and I can ask. So I also I have a prompt that I made before. Uh, so let's see that create a uh, create. Mm, create spreadsheet template based on IFC file that could be used to modify IFC files. Use sheets in Excel, create a several sheets. First sheet, present all objects, element, entity type, grid, name, predefined type description. And this is actually basic point I'm starting. So as you said, as you see here, create a template that could be used for modify IFC files because I will build on top of that, and I will add new sheets at the end. But in the first round, I would just have the the first the first columns uh, to see what I get. So let's see when I click um, create. So my uh, oh, okay. So I think there is a something I missed here. So for example, you see I create a spreadsheet template, but please use ifc op open shell and python so because i already know that probably they use something else and you see now i see that here on the top it seems ifc open shell import so okay let's start with that one let's see what we get i need to click new code let me in i know that i need to now put a new path so my road it is called road x and my it could be name like road uh, x excel okay let's see if i just run it so in this case everything is correct so i can just easily refresh and i get my xls file when i just open so i will see that i probably have some yes so i have uh, Entity type, I have a grid, I have a name, predefined type, and description. And I see that, for example, I have predefined types. And as you know, if you use predefined types, you also probably need to provide object types. So I will just uh, say, OK, please add also object type. And then I will get the new code. And of course, I can just easily copy it again, replace what I get. I need one more time, specify correct name of my file. Could be like this. Let's have it like that. And then I will get, uh, yes, my output again. I can download right now, open again. And then I will probably get the new spreadsheet having entity type with name, predefined types, description, and object type. So as you have on, you have a sneak peek of what you can do, but also I would like to maybe just sum up this, uh, this what, we, what, what we can do right now with ChatGPT. So imagine that even me that doesn't, I don't know the code, I can create the apps and can easily manipulate IFC files or for sure much more. 
So you can imagine what what we as an industry can do now. And I think we should uh, use it to, of course, help uh, our daily acti in daily activities. So if you work with or you analyze a lot of IFC files, just uh, jump to chat GPT and uh, and try your code. Uh, yeah, just generate some code. And this collab, as I said, it's very handy because you don't have to uh, install anything on your PC and it's very, very easy to use. So yeah, and if you want to build your own app, at the end, you will probably get something like I get here, very, very long code that you can then run fr from your uh, CMD platform. But you also will get this um, information uh, from your <coughs> from your chat GPT if you ask for that. OK, thank you. That's all.